Hi friends, how are you doing today? So today I'm gonna show you this perfect street style wet chow mein at street style food is loved by almost everyone. So if you have all the ingredients already prepped up and chopped, then it hardly takes just 10 to 15 minutes to get ready. So let's get started. To prepare this tasty street style wet chow mein, first we need to boil the noodles for which in a big container I've taken about 5 to 6 cups of water which I've kept for boiling. To this, I am going to add in 1 teaspoon of salt and mix it a bit. So while it's getting fully boiled, let me show you which noodles I am using. So today I am using these noodles. These packets are very easily available in the market and I prefer using these ones because I personally like this. That's why I showed you. But if you want, you can use any other noodles whichever you like. So now the water has come to a good rolling boil. I'm going to add in this noodle. I'm not going to break this. I'm going to simply add the entire noodle bar into this boiling water and mix it a bit. Mix it a bit and let it boil further until it's almost 80 to 90% done. So you can open it a bit with the help of the spoon so that it's nicely boiled all over. This takes almost about five to six minutes. So I think it's almost done, I mean almost 3 4 done, that is about 80 to 90 percent done. I'll just break one noodle and show you, it still has some resistance and that's the perfect right stage to close the flame. So at this stage when it is about 80 percent done, I'm going to switch off the flame and then strain this. And after straining, I'm going to wash this under running water for some time to stop the carryover cooking and then spread it in a thali or plate and then sprinkle some oil over it mix it a bit and let it stand like this if you want you can keep it in the fridge at this point of time and then use it later like in the evening or in the next day also it remains good next up in a kadai or wok i am going to heat in 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil over high flame and then spread it a bit so that it's evenly hot once heated, I am going to add in 1 tablespoon of finely chopped garlic and fry that for about 30 to 40 seconds or until its rawness goes away followed by 2 to 3 slit green chilies and then goes in some spring onion whites. Cook that for about 1 to 2 minutes on high flame. You can use the regular onions also here. So cook that for a while until they are slightly soft. So next goes in 1 carrot which I have cut into long pieces like this and cook that just for a while because carrot takes a little more time to cook and once that is slightly tender I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients like the rest of the vegetables so in goes some capsicum you can also use some colored capsicums here to make it more colorful and one suggestion I would like to give you here try to cut all the vegetables in the exact shape so that you get that perfect restaurant style wet charming but because we are cooking sweet style chow mein today, you can do however you like. Cook that as well for a while. Next goes in some cabbage and toss that as well because cabbage doesn't take much time to cook. Next goes in some salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, mix it a bit and then I'm going to add all the sauces. Normally sauces are added after the noodles but I prefer adding the sauces at this base so that they are nicely cooked with the vegetables and then they are evenly coated by the noodles. So here goes in 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce, 2 teaspoons of red chilli sauce, 2 teaspoons of soya sauce, you can use whichever you like, dark or light, 1 teaspoon of vinegar. And I'm also using just a tablespoon of Shezwan sauce. It gives a really good flavor to the chow mein. This is perfectly optional, but try using this. It comes out really good flavor. You can refer to one of my video. I'll give it in the description box below on how to prepare perfect Shezwan sauce at home right from scratch. Mix all the things really well. So this base is ready with all the vegetables and sauces in it. It looks so colorful. Do not overcook the vegetables. At this stage, we are going to add in the boiled noodles and then gently mix this. 
So keep tossing this for a while, taking care not to break the noodles. Keep tossing it for about 1 to 2 minutes or until they are well coated with all the flavorful sauces and the vegetables. And by the time, the noodles will also get fully cooked. You can see all the noodles are nicely coated. They are well coated with this flavorful sauce. You have to cook this just for about 2 more minutes. Do not overcook it. And you can adjust the seasoning. Now you can adjust some salt and pepper also at this stage. Lastly goes in some spring onion greens and give it a last few tosses. And here you go guys, your hot hot wet chow mein is ready. You can serve it hot with some more spring onion greens on top and enjoy this with your friends and family as an evening snack. So I hope you enjoyed watching this very very easy recipe today. If yes, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such recipes. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.